Okay, uh, this is a bit about uh, exploring uh, resonance, and this is just something simple that I wanted to begin with. And it's a piece of wood, uh, three quarter inch, just put some black plexi on it, just make it look better. Made a couple little brackets here from aluminum angle, and I put a stainless steel strip here. And I attached some magnets up here. I got some little ones down here I was playing with. Um, these are half inch by three eighths N 52s. They hold on there pretty good. And I have a diametric uh, magnet on the drill here. And first we'll run it at low speed. Now when you run it at low speed, you can get the thing moving back and forth at a slow speed, just like the drill is moving. Close enough. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. It's very slow moving back and forth. Let's speed it up. But you can see the how far it's moving the plate back and forth. You take it up to full speed. Still really only moving that much. Like it was at the slower speed. I'll switch this to high. And, uh, just go at lower speed. You can see it's moving a little bit. Still moving a little bit. Let it move a little bit more. Right there is about the furthest I've seen it. Um, I haven't measured the frequency, but that's the resonant frequency of the spring of this strip with the weight of the magnets on top. Now if we go higher, kind of virtually nothing. You can feel it vibrating a little bit, but not much push on your finger or anything. Drill a little bit closer. That'll work over here, too, if we put it like this. And also, what else did I want to show? Um, ah, this was it. Take the magnets off. This is stainless. There's no, it doesn't, it's not attracted to this magnet in the least. Um, but if we put it real close, we'll create lens currents in the stainless and it'll make it vibrate. Should be a higher frequency than with the magnets on there because lighter weight. It's moving. Seems like a lower speed. I have to look at that and maybe write that down. This is just something I wanted to bring up because the subject of resonance seems to uh, be a strange one. Um, when we have this drill against here and we're at very low speeds, we can see this moving. It looked possibly about a sixteenth of an inch back and forth. If it was going really slow, it's going back and forth like this. And if it's going really fast, it's still only around uh, 
that far that it's moving back and forth. So the way I look at it is if we get can get it to resonate and get all that activity, then there has to be something good about that. It's like if we take one of these, transformer. Uh, if this was a 12 volt transformer, you know, you plug it into the wall and you get 12 volts out, um, you're not operating it at resonance. You're operating far below uh, a resonant frequency of the transformer, and you're getting what you see here at the slow speed, you know. Um, but if we were to operate this at resonance and get it really cooking, what happens there? What happens to our input? What happens to our output? So those are things that we want to look at, but examining mechanical resonance is fun, neat, easy, uh, than playing around with wrapping these all day and coming up with a good combination. So examining what's going on here, we can translate what we find into going forward with one of these. So that's it. Just wanted to show that. Thanks.